A short verse in the book of Job in chapter 36. It says, because there is wrath, beware. Let me take thee away with his great stroke, and then a great ransom cannot deliver thee. Today we're preaching a message to you from the Bible. If you'd like your own copy of the Bible, which is God's Word, we're giving them away for free. Come take one for yourself and read it for yourself. Job chapter 36 and verse 18. I'll read it again. Because there is wrath, beware. Lest he take thee away with his great stroke. And then a great ransom cannot deliver thee. You know the gospel, it's not only good news, but it's also a warning. And the message we preach to you today is a warning. Because friend, in the sight of a holy God, you are not ready to meet him. You are in your sins. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We have all fallen short of God's standard which is perfection. Friend, I know I can't keep that. You know you can't keep that. And because of that, you're not ready to face God. You may turn to your own. You may say, well, I'm not that bad. You know, I'm a good person. I give to charity. You can list a whole list of good things you do. But friend, none of those will make you right in the sight of God. The Bible says, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Friend, God does not want your good works if you're using them to try to justify yourself. In the sight of a holy God, he says, we are all as an unclean thing. We're not ready to face God. That's what Job is saying here in the book of Job. It says, because there is wrath. Beware, because you have to acknowledge that right now you are not ready to face God. If you die right now without Christ, you will go to hell, friend. It's not a fact we love preaching about. We don't enjoy it, but it's a real, solemn reality, friend. We have to warn you about it, just as if, it, just as if the bridge was washed out ahead and you were driving too fast and you didn't see it i would have warned you stop you're headed in a course that will not end well for you and friend today you are on a course that if you stay on it will not end well for you because if you stay in your sins the psalm the proverbs say there's a way that seems right to a man Maybe you think your way is just fine. Maybe you don't even believe in God. But it says there's a way that seemeth right unto a man. But it says the end thereof are the ways of death. So you may think you're just fine today. You know when you offer someone a tract, often they say, I'm good. Friend, you're not good today. If you don't have Christ as your savior, you're on your way to hell. Today, there's a ransom for you. That's the good news of the gospel. We don't preach a one-sided message. Yes, you do have to beware because your sins are taking you to hell. But Christ died for you. John 3 and 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have ever lasting life God sent his son Christ on the cross paid your sin debt he satisfied an angry God he suffered at the hands of God the wrath for your sin friend and he finished the work he could say it is finished also meaning paid in full the debt is paid for you all you have to do is simply repent. Repent of your sins. It simply means to change your mind. Just agree with God. God says you're a sinner. And that there's nothing you can do for yourself. 
agree with him and simply trust his son who died for you. For when we are yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Simply accept God's salvation today, friends, and you can have eternal security. You can know. You can rest your head on your pillow today and know that if you would die, you go to heaven. But the solemn reality is, friend, because there is wrath, beware. There is wrath coming, friend. You need to be saved today. You do not need to put it off another day. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Boast thyself, not of tomorrow. But you don't know what a day will be for. There's not one person here today who can guarantee me they'll be here tomorrow. Life at best is very brief, like the falling of a leaf, like the binding of a sheep. Be in time, friend. Salvation is offered to you as a free gift. Trust Christ today and you will be saved. But if you die in your sins, the Lord says where I am, you cannot come. Friend, trust him today. Don't put it off. Because the solemn reality of this verse is, because there is wrath, beware, lest he take thee away with his great stroke, and then a great ransom and deliver thee. If you die and you go to hell, friend, and you realize you were wrong your whole life, it will be too late. The door of salvation is only open on earth while you are still alive. Trust him today, friend and have everlasting life. Again, we're giving away free Bibles. Come take one for yourself and read it for yourself. See what God has to say to you. Let me leave you with two verses. First, the one we read, because there is wrath, beware, lest he take thee away with his great stroke, and then a great ransom cannot deliver thee. The second one is the other one that we talked about, John 3 and 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever, that's you today, friend, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Trust him today, friend.